Oh god. My phone did one of those fun things where it like didn't load any notifications and then loaded about 50,000 at once. Thanks, phone. All right, how are we looking? Hey! My castle requires more blood. Oh! This is such a cool system! What is this? Oh man, that is that is awesome. So it just lets you like put everything you need down. You can just plop it. Wow, dude. They're doing some really cool stuff in this game. Like in terms of QOL and, and survival system designing. It even, no way. It keeps the items in the chests that you move. What is this? This isn't supposed to exist. This is a head, this is, this is like, I was watching, I was watching Three Body Problem, and they were holding these little silver VR headsets, and they're like, this technology doesn't exist for like five leaps. That's how I feel like looking at this QO, like this isn't supposed to exist yet. There's like multiple iterations before we get to this point that we have not gone through yet. What is going on? Okay. That's cool. Um, no, this is great. This is cool. I also really love these chests. These, these are, these are getting me thinking for Emberville. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's put all these next to each other. We're like right, yeah, right here's fine. Again, we're just popping these down. Co loves a good chest. I do. I do. My kink is good QOL in video games. True story. Oh no! Now here's the real question. Did it uproot my farm and put the seeds in the travel chest? It actually did that. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's definitely not replacing the seeds that I planted. If I if I lost all my seeds, that would actually be kind of a big deal. This will not work. But everything? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I, I don't need that stuff. So do I just get refunded? Remaining structures will be converted into resources and transferred to your travel bags. That was awesome. What an incredible system. Wow. There's my seeds. Wow. Mm. And it all worked. It worked. Like, my lord. Everything worked and it all worked well. And yeah, color me impressed, man. That's cool. That is a sexy system. Uh, what's this? Mist stone. Okay. I need. A little more of this. Now we're gonna have to start warping a lot more. Unfortunately, what does kind of suck is um, 
because we're we've re we because we've relocated. What this means is we um, are going to be a lot further from the newbie area, so we are going to have some some walks <laughs> ahead of us. But yeah, it should be okay. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. The other argument would have been that it, it may had may have been more advanta advantageous to wait until we kill more bosses to move our base. But at least now we're going to be able to actually start working on our base, which is good. So that's that's cool. Speaking of which, um, we can actually like start doing this. Oh, oh, we have to connect from... That's right, we have to connect from here. Uh... This will not work. So this out here is going to be, I think, an outdoor area. So let's actually just go ahead and move the farms over here while we're doing it. The base building QL in this game is also just phenomenal in terms of how easy it is to uh, move things around and rebuild things and the whole build system is just great, just great. Crafting a ring might help you with that. With what? Not saying you're you're wrong, but <laughs> what, what, which one are we talking about? Uh, pop it here to start. Well, no, it's pop it here to start. Probably a faster way to do this. I just don't know what it is. Maybe the faster way would have been like not actually building these single <laughs> and building it, building them in sixes like a smart person. That would have been nice. Hey, Liz Raid! Welcome, Liz Raiders. Thank you so much for joining us. Subs! Do me a solid and flood this chat with hearts. Show these raiders we won't take any guff from these swine. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. Welcome to you. Welcome to you. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Wait, did I build this under? Oh, no, it's, it's only in rows of five. That's fine. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Hey, Pat. I see you in here. Pat, did you, did you, were you here just a minute ago when I relocated this base? I don't know if you saw that, but oh my god! You should you should check out the the base. Not that yeah, it's not that you would need this for your game because you don't really need to relocate bases. But it's a really yeah. You saw <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was really impressive. <laughs> yeah, that was that was solid. Also, I don't know if you saw these chests, but these chests rock. Like I'm convinced these may be a new. These are like a new survival genre QOL type of chest. Oh man. I really like those chests. Um, they allow for sorting, but make it so easy. So it's a, it's almost like a best of both worlds situation. Although I'm, I'm, we need to see how they're going to be when we get more resources. We may need to may need to play with that. Let's see. Okay, so going back to what we were doing, uh, we're going to go back to here. Uh, now we we usually have different different tiles for our pathways for our hallways. So we'll do that to start. Oh, this is going to look so much better. Let's actually do this. Uh, oh. Okay, so this is going to be 
Oh my god. Didn't that look so much better? That looks so much better. Oh. So much better. Uh, we need a door. No, it's a window. We need a door here. Now, we, we should probably go ahead and just wall this off to start. We need planks. Just to make it so we don't... Well, I mean, we got, the, we got the mist thing going. I guess we don't have to worry about that too much. Although, you should be, like, here. Mm. Okay. All right, so we need to construct and interact with a blood press and a servant coffin. A blood press. Ooh. Yo. Okay, hold on. Nope, change of plans. <laughs> change of plans. All right. Um, let's see. Damn, Co is so much more efficient. I have lame wooden walls. Liz, I don't even have walls. I think you're ahead of me on that regard. Yeah. Kicking my ass. All right, we need planks. Um, there's our planks. That should, oh, none of this should be. Oh, 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 they took this out of our things. Okay, hold on. You should be in there. Don't have anything for that. You should be in there. Great. All right, get all those chunking along. Small herb storage. Dude, these storage systems. Oh my god. If these are what I if if oh this is gonna be so good this is gonna be so good okay let's let's just do it right here for now we're just gonna do it here we need paper leather and bone paper leather and bone paper leather and bone. Dude, that is so cool. And now each of these, like, have their own... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So good. Okay. So, basically, the thing that I'm loving so much about this is that this game has built-in mechanics to do what I manually do in every single game that I play of this kind. That's that's what's that's what's killing me right now. Every time I play a game like this, I make like a wall of chests and I sort them and I and I put them in this game does it all for me. So I don't have to like I can do exact I can get done exactly what I want at like 5% of the time, <laughs> which is great. That's amazing. Like, that's absolutely awesome. That is just 20 of 10. That is V exciting. It is. It is V exciting. Yes. Well said. Uh, okay. So if I take all these out, is any of this... No. Okay. So these these are all. Wait. Oh. Okay. So everything has its place. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Okay. So everything's got its place. All right. Um. 
So moving on, we need to make the blood press. Where's the... Oh, wait, can I even make this yet? I may not even be able to make this. Woodworking bench. There's the crossbow we Leather working station, longbow. Alchemy table. Oh! Fishing. Uh, no, I think I can... I think I can make this. There it is, there it is. Plank and stone. Okay, I was gonna say. I have to say, it's a, it's a little funny, though, because this right here is, like, light years beyond what most companies have. Ooh, a blood moon. What most games have. Like, this is amazing. But what's funny is they have this amazing system in, and then they don't have, like, basic crafting materials using storage. <laughs> it's like, we're so close! One, one day, one day a game is going to have it all. But not today. Not today, unfortunately. We're not quite there. We're almost there, but not yet. All right, let's put this stuff in. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. All that fits there. Bone for alchemy. So we're still missing, we're missing like a fishing chest. There's a materials chest, but I feel like there's like a constructed material. Like for, for frames and body and wood. We don't have, we don't have whatever that is. So I think, I think we're still missing a few different types. Can I fish yet? Not yet. No, I, I can't fish yet. Soon, TM. Okay. Oh, 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 blood press. Uh, blood press is, I think, just planks and stone. Oh. Oh, we need this. Yeah, we need this. Uh, four unsullied hearts. We got ten. Great. All right, we'll get that going. While that's cooking, we need to make a servant coffin. Copper ingots. Oh, and a greater blood essence. Well, that worked out well. Okay. Golden! Go! Emberville QOL add for sure. And the using items from chess QL. Get them on it, sir. Please and thanks. Unfortunately, I don't have any... <laughs> I don't have any connection to these devs and I'm not working on the game. But uh, hopefully they are working on that. We'll see. Go, are you a bit sick? I am. Yeah, thank you, Liz. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little... I've got some uh, some kid crud, as we call it. Yeah. Oh, well. But thanks. I appreciate it. Go as kids. It's a thing. Three kids now. Do, 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 do. There we go. Got just some planks. Yeah, like if this menu right here pulled from all available chests on the plot you're working from, that would be completely, completely next level. Like done and done levels of stuff. Like, oh my God. Like, Crown V Rising, the king of all QOL kind of stuff. <laughs> Maybe one day. Oh, Leaf, yeah, yeah. If I could stand right here, 
if I could open my inventory and if there was a button, a little square button right here, and if I moused over it, it said sort two chests with an S, sort two chests. And then if I clicked it, it would just put all items in all chests around me that are closest. Boom. That plus construct and build from chests. And that is literally all the QOL this game needs in terms of base building. Like that would be anything else you could argue would be too much. <laughs> even, even that would be argued. But yeah. That would be incredible. Absolutely incredible. Insert a charmed human to start conversion. I need that with viewers of my stream. An achievement to be sure. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, you don't think so? Oh. Okay. Uh, Ko was watching Pirate Software play this in a group and the game seems so much easier that way. Have you tried this in group play? Yes, this game is remarkably easier as a group. It is, it is arguably designed to be played in a group, especially the resource acquisition. Um, but yeah, no, to answer your question, this is a fantastic group game. It is a fantastic group game. Yep. I have played it in groups a couple times and it was, every time I played it, it was great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we have to do now is we need to go out and find a, not not a max, but a, you know, we're looking for like a 50 plus human. And we're gonna charm him and bring him back. We're, we're looking for a, a, a relatively good human. The higher percentage we get now, the better they will do on missions for us. You know, I say that. Maybe for the first ones we should just like prioritize getting them. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. The human mind comes to me. You're what, nine? It will kill you. Oh, well, I have to hit R now. Okay. You are in my grasp. Bend to my will. Okay. We good? We good. Great. We're also going to want to set up a second one as fast as we can. Yeah. Mm hmm. Servant. Well, that's freaking cool. They like have all sorts of little things here. Huh. So we're going to want to capture people from different regions of the world. I'm going to have to Pokemon my people because I'm fine with that. A1 Punch Mac. How you doing today, man? Hello, hello. Okay. Let's... Let's clean this place up a little. I need to get some walls and stuff down. Got a Pokemon. I do have a very nice spear. Yeah. God, I remember the first time we played this game, when we converted our first human, I think it took like what, like two hours or something. And I was all like loving playing the game and having a great time. And then it came up to this part of the main story and it was basically like, wait two hours to continue. And I was like, Nanny. 
Uh, no? <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> game good? This game's awesome. Is this an MMO? No, it's an M-O. Not two M's, one M. Okay, uh, let's do... How much, how much time do we have here? Ten minutes. You know what? Let's go after this guy while we're waiting. Hell yeah. To go make some more coffee. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Wait, where's my? There we go. Okay. Now I can just go down the center and do everything here. Oh, so good. So good. Okay. This guy is this way. He's straight south of us. No, he's south and a little bit to the east. So he's this way. And he is very far away. So we can assume he's down here somewhere. Kelly named Kelly. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> thanks. Thanks to you, dude. All right. This way. Hold on. This way. Far away. Any primers in chat? Oh, no, no, no. We, we don't do Twitch Prime here. No, if you try to claim your token, um, a, a, a dude comes out of the screen and gives you a high five and says, sorry, but we don't do that. It's really wild. You should, you should all try it and check it out. It's super crazy. Full disclaimer, nothing I just said actually happens. Just, you know, for legality reasons, I have to state that. But it's really cool. Super cool. Yeah. Re like, awesome. I think I read about that on Reddit. J Hops, high five. High five to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta believe. That's right, you gotta believe. You just gotta believe. If you believe hard enough, it might happen. Just gotta believe, man. You're the trash, and I am the shovel. Can I be one of those, like, grabby extendo hand things instead? Um. Cool, I finally started Rogue Trader, and it's, so, it's awesome. So much reading, though. Yeah, it's a lot of reading, but, man, it's worth it. It's so worth it. Here's, dude. This is the first day I'm rocking my Rogue Trader shirt. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Uh, go Fisho with the $10. Great job as always on the V Rising parts. Thanks to Julia and mods. Oh, oh, you mean for the Kovatars. Thank you. And thank you for tipping the mod team. Very, very much appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. gonna go ahead and like eat that guy just just, just eat him. Right, where are we going 
Oh. Okay. Do trees pro uh, block projectiles? Some of them. Most stuff is blocked. But the problem is, is if it's like a melee move, then sometimes the melee weapon will go through. And, uh, and that, that can clip. But projectiles are generally stuck. Cool, great. Oh! We need a bigger bag, dude. Gotta get a bigger bag. Bags didn't even exist when I played before. 